Hey everybody, I wanted to show you, uh, in case you weren't sure, how to get the Google form that I have created for you and how to use it in your Google Classroom. So let's follow the steps that I have provided here. Number one is click on this link. So we'll do that. And step two says click on make a copy. All right, so this page will come up. You're gonna click on make a copy. Once you've made a copy, this is your copy. It has nothing to do with mine. You can change it, add, delete, whatever you want to do to it, you can do. So I recommend getting rid of the words copy of up here in the title because it's not a copy now. It's, it's, it's your version. All right. So that was the first three steps. Piece of cake. Number four, you can feel free to add or delete anything that you want. If you'd like to add something, maybe you want to get a contact phone number. If you just go to a question and click on it you can click duplicate and it'll make another question Oop, my bad it'll make another question for you and you can just change it if you want make it a required question if you want it definitely answered i'm not using this so i'm going to delete that all right, but you can edit that form however you choose to. Now, step five, you're going to click the eyeball icon at the top right of the screen near the send button. That would be this preview button. When you click the preview button, you're going to be taken to the actual form that the kids will be filling out. All right, and then they would go through. Uh, well, that's what it would look like to them anyway. Step six, copy the URL by clicking the website address. All right, so we've got this. We do not want to send them this form that you can edit. We want to send them the preview. It should say view form up here in the corner. All right, so you're going to basically click in here, highlight the entire URL, and hit control C that copied it all right you hold on to that for later step seven create an assignment in Google classroom so I'm gonna to go to my Google classroom which if you've ever gone to is very easy just make a new tab and start typing in classroom and you'll see it shows up there it takes me to all my Google classrooms and I'm going to put this in my percussion group just for fun here and you're going to want to go to the classwork tab and then you're going to create I'm sure many of you have already created an assignment but in case you never have you're going to create assignment and we're going to call this contact info collection please fill out the form attached it is important that all of the information is 100% correct. So please double check before submitting. That's something you can put. You don't have to. All right, then you're going to add that link by clicking add. And you're going to select link. Now you still have that link copied. So now control V will paste it and you click add link and there it is. If you want to double check that you pasted the correct thing, you can click on it and see that it takes you there. I'll get rid of that for now. And then you can select which classes you're assigning it to. You can assign it to all your classes in one shot. You don't have to make five different assignments. You could just do it one time for all of your classes. How many points you want it worth, you can make it ungraded, or you can set it to however much you want. Make sure you set your due date for 11.59 p.m., the day that you assign it, and select your topic. At that point, you will assign it, and uh, it'll all go into a spreadsheet for you, all the info. The next link will show you how to access all your information on the spreadsheet. Thanks.